Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little haul on some shopping that I did on Ulta's website in the past couple of weeks. I actually made another purchase online last night. This is what happens when I stay up late and I don't go to bed when I'm supposed to. I start shopping. I made another purchase last night. I'll probably just do a little like haul on Instagram on that just because I didn't order a ton of stuff. These are two separate purchases, but I'm gonna show you everything together because I don't remember like what I made in the first purchase and what I made in the second. So I just put it all together in the box and we're gonna go through it and see what I bought. So the first couple things are like skincare items. This is the e.l.f. Hydrogel Under Eye Mask made with purified water, seaweed extract, and licorice. I am not a fan of licorice, the taste at least, um, or the smell. So hopefully these don't, these don't smell like it. Um, I don't know what kind of skincare benefits licorice has though. I'll have to look it up and figure it out because that just seems so weird to put licorice in eye masks. And then I got these two. They were like buy one, get one half off. These are the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing for sensitive skin deep puffing under eye mask and there are 16 single eye masks in here so eight sets i like the scent of cucumber a whole lot more than the whole licorice thing but we'll see the next thing is this bh cosmetics hanging in hawaii eyeshadow palette i haven't had a new eyeshadow palette in quite a bit like that i've actually purchased and i haven't used a bh cosmetics eyeshadow palette in a really long time so i decided to pick this one up just because i like the pinks and the neutrals in here very pretty palette love the colors so nice i'm just gonna swatch a few of the shimmers and the mattes let's do the pink so let's go ahead and swatch here's Ooh, that's pretty. That's Paradise. This one is Luau, which it looks like it's a multicolor. Like it's got a ship to it, orange to pink. Very pretty. This one is Pineapple. Wow, that's intense. And then this one is Tiki. So those are some of the shades in the palette. They're very creamy, really soft and buttery. I hope that they perform just as well on the eyes. I'm excited to use this palette and create something maybe for like Valentine's Day because like this pink is super pretty and I really, really love the shift in this one here. So yeah, maybe I'll do like some Valentine's Day looks or something with this palette. Here's another palette that I picked up. This is a Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Reloaded Iconic 2.0 and this one just has a lot of neutrals. Mainly the reason why I got this palette was because I haven't tried a Makeup Revolution palette I don't think in a while if at all. I can't remember. I got a neutral palette because if I like it, if it's a good palette, I want to be able to get use out of it. I don't want it to be like a color palette that I'm probably not going to use very often. So I picked something that was more neutral and something that I could something that I could use like more on like a daily or an everyday basis. It's got a lot of like shimmer, satiny finishes in here. I think there's only like one, two, two mattes. And that's the black and the cream color here, which are pretty good for like deepening the outer crease or um, underneath the lash line. And this one's good for highlighting. But let's go ahead and swatch a few of the shades here. I'm just going to take the four. Let's take this one because that one looks nice. All right. So let's go ahead and swatch. So the shimmers are definitely a lot more pigmented. That um, taupe shade is pretty. Uh, didn't show up as pigmented, but maybe with like a primer or a base, it would look a lot better. Because I don't think I've ever used a Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. Or if I have, it's been a while that I don't even remember. Speaking of Makeup Revolution, I also picked this one up. This is the Neon Shadow Palette, which came a little bit broken. So this one broke right in like the corner and some of it's gotten into this eyeshadow here. But this one just really caught my attention. I don't have anything like this. I don't think I have very many colors like this either. 
And this will probably create a really pretty Valentine's Day look too, which is what I had in mind just because I wanted some stuff that I could use for upcoming videos. So I'm just going to take some swatches from this palette as well. I think I'll do the pink here and this super pretty bright red. That is, that's, that's really red. So here's the pink shade, kind of chalky. Here is the shimmer. That one's pretty. Here's the other one. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That one's got like an orange and gold shift to it. Very pretty. And then, ooh, that red. That is intense. They are a little bit powdery, but honestly, that, that doesn't really bother me as long as they perform on the eyes and they do, you know, they're pigmented whenever you're doing your makeup. But yeah, that red is really intense. Probably gonna stain the eyes. Um, I'll have to read on here and see which one of these is not meant for the eyes because I know that red pigments like that usually are not really safe for the eye area. So I'll have to see exactly which ones those are. So I guess I bought quite a bit from Makeup Revolution because everything in this little bag is Makeup Revolution. Um, I got two of the Conceal and Hydrate foundations. I didn't know what shade to get, and these were the only two that were probably closest to the shade that I would be, F7 and F10. F10 looks like it's gonna be a little dark, so that'll probably be good for like when I self tan, and then F7 for more my like natural skin color. But I'm excited to use these because I do have dry skin sometimes, and I wanna try those out. I am a fan of the Conceal and Define foundation. I just don't use it that often because I don't have my correct shade, so. And then I picked up three lip products. The first one is one of their lip glosses from their friends collection. This is the shade Monica. And I should have opened this before I started filming, but. So this looks like it's like a pinky nude shade, but it's got like purpley pink glitters in it. I don't really know how to describe it, but that's. See what it looks like there oh look how nice that's pretty definitely not like an everyday lip gloss for me i don't even know what i'm gonna use this with the main reason why i got it is because i'm a huge friends fan and i should have bought the collection when it came out but i didn't so i figured that i would pick up at least one thing and when i saw that they still had the lip gloss then i bought that but this one I'm not going to swatch because it's just a clear gloss, but this one is the Maxi Plump or Plump Maxi, what is this? It's basically a Pout Bomb Maxi Plump plumping lip gloss with vitamin E. And then I got another plumping um, lip gloss. This is in the shade Candy, which looks like it's just like a really milky, pinky nude. Yeah really like milky so that would be probably something that i would use more like in the center let's apply some now and see how it looks well it's really like thick and sticky oh it smells minty it's not really like a tingling or anything it's just more of like a minty refreshing kind of sensation but nothing that like burns or stings this i got for free it was a birthday gift this is the lancome um Gen genifique hydrogel melty mask this isn't something that i haven't tried before i think i only picked up a couple of shades that i didn't have that were like not available i think these are both new shades Vanilla and Ivory. I could be wrong. I think Ivory was already an existing shade. I'm not sure. But this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I really like this concealer and I really liked it. And I just never repurchased it because there was like a scent to it. It was like a floral scent that I wasn't a huge fan of. But I really like the concealer. So I can tolerate the scent. Since there were new shades, I just wanted to try it. I'm a big concealer hoarder. Like I buy so many different concealers because I like to try new ones. Um, sometimes I don't need full coverage, sometimes I do. But yeah, I got two shades, the shade Vanilla and the shade Ivory. Really good concealers, really, really nice, very pretty. 
super smooth and they're very full coverage. So if you saw my brow tutorial a couple of videos back, you saw that I was using the gel, the Got To Be gel to brush my hairs and keep them in place. I decided that I wanted to try the Makeup Revolution Soap Styler for laminate fluffy and natural soap brows. This is the packaging that it comes in, super cute packaging. That is so nice. This looks like expensive, like expensive packaging. It's like on the inside, so it's kind of like a, it literally feels like a clear soap when it's not wet, of course. And then it's got a little brush in here, which I'm probably not gonna use because I like to use the spoolie. But I'm gonna try this out and see how that works. But I love the packaging. Other than, you know, getting fingerprints everywhere, but it's pretty. And then I got another foundation CC cream. What is this? It's a CC cream. This is the e.l.f. Camo CC cream. And I got the shade medium 330 W. So I'm going to be doing a first impressions and wear test on the um, conceal and hydrate foundation and also on the CC cream. I know these aren't like super new products or anything. This one is, but the Makeup Revolution one I think has been around for a while. I still want to do a first impression and wear test on both just because, you know, some it may be helpful for somebody, but yeah. I also picked up a couple of sponges. The first one that I got is this one by Sweet and Shimmer. This is another thing that I constantly buy is sponges because I go through so many of them. I like to throw them out every once in a while, especially when I've been using them for a really long time because I know that, you know, it's just more hygienic. This one is uh, kind of dense. It doesn't feel as spongy as the other ones that I use. My favorite is the e.l.f. Um, what is this? Total Face Sponge, I think is what it's called. I really, really like that one. And it's super inexpensive. This one was really cheap too. I'm not exactly sure how much it costs, but I think I even got it on sale. I don't know. But this is what it looks like. It looks just like the Beauty Blender, but it definitely doesn't feel like it. So we'll see what happens once it's wet. Hopefully it works. And then the other one, I just couldn't resist, you guys. It is the Beauty Bakery Organic Blending Eggs. And literally, I just got this because the packaging, it looks like a little egg carton. It is so cute. And it's got little beauty sponges in there and they're different colors, like egg colors. And I love the idea behind this. So cute. I'm gonna open one of these and see what this one feels like. I just, I literally just bought it for the packaging. I'm hoping the sponges are good. So this one feels a little bit better than the last one, the pink one. Um, hopefully when they're wet, they just feel, they work. Like I just need it to work, you know what I mean? I just needed to blend my foundation out and work. If you haven't seen these or picked these up, I think they have them in like the pink color too, but this one was just super cute to me because, I don't know, it just looked like, it looked like real eggs. And I think that's it, you guys. Not a huge haul, but definitely a lot of things that I want to try and share with you guys. If any of this stuff you've purchased in the past, let me know your thoughts on it. Look forward to some videos using the new things that I bought. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.